hours later, I'm I'm like, I know my wife's gonna call. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get this news. And so my wife calls hours later. Yeah. And she called me crying. Mm, yes. Cause it didn't. Yeah. She called me crying and immediately, once I answered her, hello, ah, I was like, it didn't work. Yeah. And guess what? God? It didn't work. Again, I don't knock any mm -hmm. method of no. how you're going to do it. But I'm just saying for hours, God really stepped in and God, uh, he did a miracle for us. Okay. Welcome back to Bounce Around. Charles, uh, with me, it's a music man himself, Gabriel Ori. And you just saw the video with him and his wife. And we're going to find out from Gabriel what that video was all about. Gabriel, welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Man, Randolph, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Tell us what that video was all about that we just saw. So, you know, in this day and age, you know, uh, infertility is very rampant, very high. Uh, a lot of people struggle with this secretly and silently. Um, and, you know, you have the infertility specialists and things like that, um, who I believe, you know, God gives, you know, the inclination and the, uh, the skill set to be able to help that process. Um, but with my situation and what you guys just saw was a, a testimony um, really picking up the God uh, that really, really th gave us a miracle. Uh, my wife and I, you know, we got married in 2017. And just to kind of make it really short, um, we struggled with infertility, uh, her and I. And, you know, we went to the doctors, got tested and everything like that. Long story short, uh, the doctor said that there was something with my wife. Her uh, egg reserves um, were low and of, of poor quality and her body wasn't producing enough. And we prayed and things like that. And, you know, we decided to, upon the recommendations of the the doctors um, to try the infertility and we got donors eggs and, you know, we did the IVF and, you know, this thing costs a lot of money, man, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money uh, was spent. And guess what? We had zero success. Wow. Zero. And I mean, my wife was devastated. I was devastated. You know, not only I was devastated two times because I was devastated because, you know, it didn't work. But then number two, that was a lot of money we just spent, you know, it's, yeah. it's not a, it's not a cheap thing to do. So um, we decided to document our process and you didn't see that part in the video. We just started documenting everything, video documenting. And, you know, my wife went into a depression and I'm like, I gotta be the man in the rock of this to make this happen. So um, basically we got a miracle, you know, this year we found out that she was expecting and that is wow. a blessing from God. So, I give God all the praise and glory. You know, I know he's real. And I hope that testimony touched somebody to know. Just hold on, wait. Um, don't worry about what the doctor may say. You know, if it's not favorable in information, just know that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, I know that sounds so cliche, but I mean, we had to have the faith for God to operate. So I just want to leave out there that faith moves God, not your tears. Faith. So you actually putting into practice you've been taught. Yes, sir. As you know, my, my father's a minister. He's a, a bishop now. Um, and I grew up in the, the nice town of Adams Run, um, <laughs> South Carolina. You know, big up to the, to the run. You know, uh, it's a small town. Um, a lot of people out there, out in that area, the Hollywood area, they know us. They know the Ori. Shout out to my church, House of God Miracle Temple. They know who we are. You know, we, we, I call us trendsetters. We do a lot of things out there that's way before the time. And and speaking of my dad, my pops, he's uh, he he has a whole legacy within himself. Uh, Bishop yes. Story. And I just glean from him every day. You know, I try to get the little nuggets I can get because when I was young, he used to talk over my head, man. <laughs> <laughs> and as a young kid, I want to be cool. I want to be with the other young kids and just, you know, culture had a, a hold on me. Uh, but I just thank God for my dad, you know, who really, really, he's a wise man, you know, and, and to win a soul, you got to be wise as the, as the Bible says. And so he's a wise man, you know, he never enforces uh, his way or his, his, his rule on anyone, uh, especially his kids. And so we grew up in a household where, 
you know, we knew to respect him. You know, he's the man oh. of the house, but we also, uh, you know, learned a lot. And today as a man, I can say that my dad was the number one instrumental piece in my life. Well, got me to where I'm at. Bounce, on Bounce Around Charles, we're really happy to have you here today. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about this new piece that you have done for, for our viewers to see. And we're gonna talk about how you develop that right after this break with Gabriel, Gabriel Ori, right after this break. <laughs> 